bar, mais. Oh, mon bar. 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 Mon You already know. Hey, we got a hey, hey, shameless plug. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get it. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. We always having a good time. Here we are. I don't know where we are. Are we in Harris? Hey, we, we back at J Dub's house. Yeah, we're back at J Dub's house. Yeah, we're so that Harrison, can't mean Tennessee. but one thing, right? We're not in Chattanooga. Yeah, we're not in Spring hella. City. Look where you at. Look where I'm at, big dog. You like seven foot right now. Let me see. Now we probably about even. Yeah, we yeah. are. Hey, look, now, now we're good now. <laughs> hey, for y'all yeah. watching at home, I'm five seven. Don't, yeah. be trying to, don't be trying to knock me down on 5'7". Hey, look, but you're a big guy today. That's right. Because you caught some bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing with these deals, they marathons, bro. You can't catch bass one day, DC. One day at a time. That's it. We survived. And get carried away. I survived today. Yes, exactly. So we need to survive Monday, and then we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to yeah. survive tomorrow. You got to survive tomorrow. And we're on a fishery that is kind of unsurvivable. <laughs> hey, hey is, that a, is that a word? Yeah, really. Unsur hey, y'all, hey, drop a comment. In is it in survival? No. Unsurvive, not survive. In and uninhabitable. No, that's like you can have you it. Can't live you can it. inhabit something, like oh. like a hat, like a oh, in and yeah. like a hat, like a house. You can't live in it, or like a like an ecosystem. If you it's can't survive in something, in what is that? In inhabitable. In inhabitable. You can't no, it's not it. in. It's in. Yeah, it is. In in ab hab un uninhabitable. Un un no, inhabitable. Meaning you can live there. You cannot. No, uninhabitable means you no, cannot. It's not. Yes, it is. It's inhabitable. No, it's uninhabitable. Let's see bro. what. Let's see what. Listen. It, what un does means you can't. Inhabitable mean. It is uninhabitable. That house is uninhabitable. Thank you. <laughs> okay, inhabitable. Suitable, Suitable to, to live in. in. <laughs> uninhabitable. You can't litter. So if you can't. What say, is the opposite of inhabitable? Uninhabitable. What does, oh, it's uninhabitable. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Y'all listening to this dude, bro. Who is bruh? Mark Daniels Jr.? <laughs> You'll need to unlock You're going to have to unlock your phone because that's too much sauce. Hey, too true. much sauce for you to hey, get on your go. phone at one time. Hey, You're going to have this number right here, y'all. Mark is a sexy guy. Tuskegee, Alabama. Oh, three time Jeez. tour level winner who competed in both FLW Major. Damn, Nick. Oh, that's from Major League Fishing. I didn't. Dang, it actually me. It's a bunch of Mark Daniels out there. I'm surprised it well, found me. We went on a tangent. Hey, we get gone sometimes. Oh, uh, anyway, welcome back. We're here at Watts Bar, Watts Gar, however you want to call it. Watts Gar. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mark Fish today. What place are you sitting in? I'm in eighth. I caught 20 pounds today. I'm. Hey, listen, y'all. You want to talk about happy to have 20 pounds? That's a great day, bruh. Great day. After practice, I'm 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 very happy. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. It was crazy though. This morning, I launched the boat. I was easing across the pond to the launch ramp. I just felt good though. You feel you know, good about it sometimes. Yeah, like if y'all watch my tournament vlog, another shameless plug, um, I was <laughs> driving in a boat and I was like cheesing the whole time and I was like playing with the camera. I feel like, good about it. I was just, yeah, I was just feeling, I was vibing. You vibing the energy was good. You, you know what I'm saying? About yeah, so when you got good energy out there on the lake, brother, bass, sometimes they know. They feel the energy. They feel the wave, good. The, the wave, the wave was good. Energy. Yeah, man, I was just yeah, feeling yeah. it. So it worked out, man. A good deal. Yeah. Good deal. Yep. So tomorrow, my boy, this is, you got it, hey. And Jacob. And Jada and, and Adrian. Adrian. They all fishing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Y'all got some work to do, but. So like. Y'all gonna do work. Practice. I've been learning in these tournaments. You cannot base your tournament on practice. We were just talking about this a while ago. Red Crest. Let's rewind, ready? Year, year and a half Which ago. one? Yeah, almost. <laughs> last <laughs> year. Which what? Last year. Well, you almost backed up. Back to almost did. 2021. I started that tournament throwing a Spinner bait in brush piles. On day one, I caught one four pounder doing that, and it was slim. So I just said, let's go swim a jig. I found one pocket. I ended up catching like four more fish out of it. On swim jig. On swim jig. Don't forget, the, don't forget the one you caught on a square bill. Yeah, I had zero bites in practice on swim jig. So I just went to a swim jig and went, survived. Mm -hmm. Second day, I said, all right, I'm gonna go swim jig all day. I'll be sitting good. Mm -hmm. I'll make this cut. Mm -hmm. Big dog. 
Did you catch one? Caught one fish out of the grass and caught one five pounder on a square bill. And don't I don't even throw square bills. Y'all don't even notice about I don't about throw crankbaits. DC professional angler I don't throw crank from baits. Clanton, Alabama. This man did not throw a square bill, a mid range, a deep dive. A... No, I throw a deep diver hard. Will you? Yeah. If they, my if man, my man ain't gonna throw no square up. bills, no crank. one minuses, no two minuses, bro. None of that. He missing that whole everything. I don't throw. But he still be smashing. Unbelievable. I don't throw crankbaits. Anyway, uh, I caught him on a uh, square bill. <laughs> so, so, so now I've went from that, junk Jay. fishing one on one, made the cut. Lit, literally got on the deal knockout round at like lunch had four hours ran around that was the winning deal it just developed during the tournament got on that juice but like practice i've done learned do not lesson at home this i feel like this is way too long of a segment in our videos We're but about it, seven minutes in it's our f video <laughs> <laughs> and we can do whatever we want to film <laughs> we're way too long in this conversation but we're gonna keep it going uh, it's our video, bro. listen don't just dial in practice so hard that you put these on that part and and, and that's the hardest part about being a fisherman it, even at any level man i mean if you're fishing a creek and you caught him on a lizard in the past, and that's all you throw all day. Man, they may be laid off on him. The water might have been a little too dingy. You might need to pick up spinnerbait. Practice. I'm just going to roll with it tomorrow. I'm going to run a bunch of new water. Fish slow, but cover a decent amount. I like it. That's that's the key. I so like we'll that. We'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I like I'm that. Slow and steady. I'm low-key worried, but I low-key kind of feel decent about it. Yeah. Hey. You ever had that feeling? Yeah, this morning. But yeah. again, but then all of a sudden I had like this overwhelming calm. Yeah. And, and, and again, the energy was good, bro. And I was just in there listening to my music. I was singing. Yeah. Uh, we about to slide time. in here and get some pizza. It's dinner um, time. It's dinner time. And I bought all the rods rigged. I got all the favorites rigged. Hey, by the way, we just talked about this. Yeah. Well, actually, we can't talk about it. We can't. Can we talk about what rod you caught it on? Yeah, we can. You caught some on spinning rod. Today. Yeah, we can talk about that. We can talk about baits. We can talk about anything. Seven two medium heavy hex. Hey, listen. That's the one. I talked about it on live a lot too. Yeah. Hey, that's a good bait. That's a, that, that's that's a good rod. Folks at home, I'm gonna drop this little gem and I'm gonna mic drop on y'all. If you're looking for a sensitive spinning rod where you ain't guessing if that was a bite, oh no, that was brush. Oh no, that was grass. So oh no, good. that was. A favorite hex will I'm change, not will change your I life, I think that's bro. the best spinning rod ever Bruh. made. Bruh. When they even look at him too long, your rod tips start bending a little bit. Hey, look, them big dummy small mouth up north. Because uh -huh. we're going to catch some up there uh -huh. when we go. But, like, I I was manhandling five pounders. That's crazy. A bunch of them, too, that day. On that 7-2? Yes, 7-2. Just, bzzz, and you know me, I jack them, bro. Hey, I'm sitting there so fighting hard. five and a half pounds small mouth. They're literally this deep on a hair jig. I see them come through there and they're coming up behind it and go doof. And I'm just like, I got him. I got him. 12 pound gold label. He's in a boat. Y'all, come on. Come on, see me. You got to come see me. I'm going to do that tomorrow. All right, we're going to get some pieces. Time to eat. Hey, it's good to be back. Hey, we back. Crocs, baby, with no socks, baby. Under that impression. So I was like, oh, mm -hmm. let's do that. And then. This is the deal. I'm trying to get my boat dialed in, and so this tournament is going to be about running around. So I got a brand new prop, 23 Fury. My brother's going to try to help me. Oh, you can hear him in the background. Just what are you going to do? You're trying to help me uh, swap my prop out? No, actually, the reason he's so excited is he thinks he's going fishing. He's not. I did take the one day of practice, but we didn't do a whole lot of fishing. We did a whole lot of graphing, so. Sorry, bro. I crack you up for that. You just did pan at the camera, just huh? We are day one. What's more? Y'all wanna challenge it? Let's put the challenge in. Like I feel like I'm in the movie 300. Let's go. Yeah. 
Oh, walk more. <laughs> you be down for days. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like right here. I got like a mountain full of stuff. I'm just putting it in, put in the. Uh... Was that all in that middle box? Yeah, I just, I just, I, instead of I just been putting it like all right here. This guy, he ran around so much. How many miles you run? 200, 291. This whole lake is like 72 miles long. Okay. So that's equivalent with him going. Gas 439 too. Hey, Jeep boy. <laughs> it's a little steep. Hey, go ahead. This stuff's a lot of heart. You better, be, you better have your water. Hella sugar this morning. But that, I don't know about this. You, why, what? That just looks like a bad choice. You want, you want heartburn or drink that? Sounds good. Only times up here, not there. Only times here, not there. I know. Thank you, man. All right, welcome back. Here we are, day one, um, Watts Bar. Got to reel in a few bass today. I feel okay about it. I mean, we'll see. It's not going to be easy. I mean, it never is unless you're on St. Lawrence River and big small mouth are spawning and it's a little bit of current. I'm, I'm kind of dreaming about that right now. We kind of need to be up there. But no. They're gonna get caught today somehow, some way. So, it, it, it's one of them deals you you gotta stay mentally in it because you know it's gonna be tough. And you know, I'm gonna cover some water a little bit, but I'm gonna fish slow. And uh, I know that. So that that's the thing. If it's if it's a grind, you can cover water, but just fish very methodical. Every cast matters. I mean, every cast. I mean. The difference between you catching six, seven fish in a day or eight, ten, whatever it is, is those key casts. And you have to keep that in your mind. In your mind. You're not going to catch 40 fish. I might catch 40 today. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to run around and throw a jerk bait. Um, I feel like a jerk bait for me. I can just cover a lot of water. I like doing that around my house anyway. And that's one of my favorite techniques. I'm gonna fish a lot of laydowns. I got some brush piles marked. I have not hit yet, so I don't really know. Um, they're supposed to cut on water at the dam later on the day, like after lunch. So I kind of want to run down there and check it. I caught some fish on the backside of the dam in the current, but I don't really have high hopes with it because it's not running a lot of water. I may. <coughs> I may skip out on that. Like, I don't know where I'm going left or right. I may take a left and just go and fish grass for the first hour and then just go throw a jerk bait. I don't know yet, so. We gotta keep it in top 20. That's all we gotta do. So, got two days to get it done. Today's just day one. We appreciate y'all tuning in. It's a nice, beautiful morning of bass fishing. The 2021 Red Crest Champion and won a stage here in 2022, D.C. Dustin Connell!
two anglers on the board already. Fletcher Shryock with one fish for 114 and Brian Thrift, one fish for one pound, nine ounces. All right. Sunlight. That's about the little fish I've caught all year. Wow. Little guy. Little, little baby largemouth. Yeah. First place is still Josh Bertrand with three fish for 714. Jacobs moved in the fifth with three fish for five pounds, one ounce. Big bag. <laughs> son, I'm, you, I'm, I'm talking one inch. Three ounces, son. Big old bag. I'll tell you, here in a minute, I'm going to pull up one of these places and it's going to lock up. It'll be about a two and a half pound smallmouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dude, I'm telling you, I went down this stretch. I mean, it was like a bunch of trees I came up to, and I caught keepers. Really? Yeah, it was just later in the day, though. That's yeah. why I was saying this early time. And that sun get up a little bit high. Yeah, let it get high. Let them slide up off the bank. Let them ease out here and stage up. Yeah. And on Tuesday, I won't be starting on these trees yeah. early. Yeah. I just wanted to check them to see if they was in right, there. Right, right. baby i get a 15 minute break thank god i know they're biting big time <laughs> they are not in trees yet man i'm telling you i went down the bank time and threw a jerk bait and i caught a pretty good bit of them but like i said it was later in the day, in the day yeah. they're not in there early i just wanted to check it though do you think not having any current affects that too facts affects that too yep 
it affects everything. Yeah. All this out here. They've been running a load of water. Yeah. Like they were 40,000 running, there's a lot of fish on this. Now they're just floating around out here. So, and there was a lot down there at that dam, too. I mean, like a bunch. Really? Yeah, like later today when they cut that shit on, it's going to be, I, I got a feeling it's going to get good. Yeah. Because they're not running none hardly right now. And then when they cut it on down there, get it going, I'll go check it. And then, okay. yeah. I mean, we got a chance of sitting down there and catching 15 pounds. Yeah. You yeah. know? So. Four, three, two, one. Lines in. Beginning period two. One pound, 13 ounces. Finally, we're on the board, boys. Twelve pounds, six ounces is still, still in first place. Oh, crap. Five fish. 20th place, Tommy Biffle. Four pounds, two ounces is 20th place. You're sitting in 31st place. tournament day, you know what I'm saying? That's usually I it never, ever get on the field, but I think I get a good end. fish for 11 pounds, 5 ounces. There you go. In 7th place. Well, I tell you, it's been a good day. <laughs> In the period, too. Oh, right, man, I tell you, it's been good. They're going to cut four turbines on at 2 o'clock. So it's break ends at 1.30? Yeah. Break ends at 1.30, right? Yeah. Let's cut it on at 2 o'clock. We'll see. Best spot I know to catch a few fish. If I didn't go here, I'd go run some brush piles. Start of period three, Dustin. A minute three? No, it start. Start of period three. It already is? Yep. Maybe. I think so. 
Eight ounces. It stopped on eight. I caught, I captured one, son. Holy crap, I captured one. in this thing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Two pounds, three ounces. Two, three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go down and we got all the hell to do it. So. Uh, Go for it.
10 fish in the last period. Come down here and caught them on a crappie jig. Unbelievable. That's what I'm talking about, son. Oh, we turned it into. The, ah. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, how funny is that, son? <laughs> oh, hell with a damn dirt bait. Oh, <laughs> dirt bait so good. Man, I swear I thought I could run around. I, it's so slick, Carl. They ain't buying no dirt bait. They sitting in this current, son. Yeah. Call a couple on a little small dart. But hey. The damn crappie jig was the deal. That was the kicker, bro. That was the deal. Yeah. You match, when you matched that, that was it, bro. You had to. Aha! Crappie rig. So, I, man, we just went through it all, bro. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, look. Oh, my God. Oh, that, I will never forget that day. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. That was, that was pretty <clears throat> priceless. Really? You're back. Always. Look, look how many people are left in this parking lot. I just want you to look. It's just you and us. Why is it always like that? Every time. Every time. Here, sixth place, we are two pounds and a little bit. What two, two, three. Two, three. Oh, three. Oh, three. Okay. Right. We are in sixth place. We're two pounds, three ounces out of the lead. Y'all say it's going to be the Mark. What's up, big dog? 
Ended up fifth place, didn't you? I did. Yeah, we, that's now, what I'm hey, talking I'm about. My hands all dry. I'm here trying to get this grill popping, but uh, yeah, we slid in fifth there. Fifth place. Fifth that's place. What I'm talking about. Caught a hey. caught a good one today. I needed that fish bad for heavy hitters. Caught him on Bandito. Caught him. I flipped him up. On I Bandito, crossed his bro. eyeballs too. Bro. Boom. Pie out. Biggest bite you had all week. Yeah, biggest bass in the lake, I think. <laughs> Dang right it was. Low key. All right, so I fish again tomorrow. Today was our off day. We actually went to Ruby Falls. Mm -hmm. Hey. Wow. Hey. That. Yeah, <laughs> Illegal one. <laughs> Do it. Look, I got a major crack right here. I need to get that fixed. See that major crack? Yeah. That's a fault line. No, I need to need some spackle. That's fault line. I need spackle, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool place. Y'all check out Real Small Town. We shot a full video. Over shot there. a whole video over there. Ruby Falls, pretty cool little joint. We got a big thunderhead coming in. Might need to get underneath this little thing in here. Hey, look, things are changing. They're changing quick. We got rain coming in. They're cutting on water earlier tomorrow. They're cutting it on at like 12. I don't know if I might be interested. I only had, so they cut they cut all that water on at two the other day. It got right at like 2.30 and it went down. And I caught them on a crappie jig. Unbelievable. And that's uh, that's how it went. You always gotta match the hatch, okay? They were eating bait literally that big. They, they get in the boat, they spit up bait like that big. I don't know what kind of bait it is, baby shads, whatever it is. I really wish I had some of the Guggen crappie stuff right now, because I don't. I just ain't got none. I didn't order no crappie stuff, but that's what they were eating. Match the hatch. So we're fishing again tomorrow. We're two pounds, three ounces out of the lead. We got to shoot for it. Cutting on water at 12, so I'm going to bounce around in the morning, throw a top water. Um, see what happens. I don't know. It may get interesting at Watts Bar. Y'all stay tuned. Day two's coming at you next. We'll see you. Like, subscribe. We appreciate you. Until next time.